Hey, Birch House friends. So Andrew asks, hey, Birch House, what's your favorite time period or era to, to work in, to build armor and weapons in? Um, and I'll tell you, I spent the better part of the week thinking about that because I wanted to give it a good answer. That was a really good question and a really hard one. Um, and I didn't want to take the stock answer of just like every time period. I really wanted to give like a, a, a good, concise answer to that question. Um, and so after a week of deliberation, I took the coward's way out and, uh, uh I'm going to say every time period. Um, but I'll, I'll build on that a little bit. And that is to say that I do enjoy doing every time period, but the reason I enjoy doing every time period is what fascinates me about history is how people developed very similar answers, but very different, very similar, but different ways of dealing with the same problem. How do you go attack somebody and how do you defend against an attack? And uh, if you look out throughout history, throughout time and throughout the world, everywhere from South America to Africa, Asia, Europe, um, all throughout the world and all throughout the Middle East, all, all different time periods, you'll see the shield. But shields are different, different materials, different shapes. Um, different uses, usages, um, and they evolve and change over time. Um, and it was always based on the needs of the people that were using them and how they were fighting and what they were going up against, who they were going up against. Um, and it's the same thing with like pole arms or spears. Uh, every culture has a form of a pole arm or spear, um, Every culture has blunt weapons, clubs, maces, things of that nature. Every culture has swords. Um, and so to give like a really good classic example would be something like an arming sword or a long sword from Europe or the, and, the, and the katana from Japan. And this is a, a really good, just very classic example of how the needs of two groups of people on different parts of the world in different eras came up with a, the same solution, having a sword. A sword is just a handle with a blade. But also having a um, different answer for it, what their needs were. You know, a, a long sword or arming sword, usually very narrow pointed, meant to punch through things like, you know, plate armor or, or chain mail more likely, um, and gamb or gambesons, things of that nature, uh, where katana is curved and is a much more effective cutter. Um because they were going up against a different type of fighter, against a different type of armor. Um, and all throughout history, we see this. Uh, and all throughout the world, we see this. They, people come up with the same idea, um, and a lot of times, without meeting each other. Um, coming up with the same idea on their own, but different. And I think that's really fascinating, to see how people come up with, a, come up with a, their own solution for the same problem. Um, so that's a great question. I'm sorry that was such a lackluster answer of every single time period, but it is true. Um, and you have seen here at Birch House, we build Viking shields, working on kite shields now. We'll be working on Scottish targes here in the next uh, few months, which is another type of shield. Um, and we're going to continue to expand our shield line. Um, but we've also done Viking axes, we're going to be doing different types of spears. Um, you saw in the last couple weeks we did the Kanabo from Japan, which is a type of war club. And the American Indian, uh, American Indian, Native American uh, war clubs. Um, and so, yeah, I like, to, I like to, to play in all the different eras. And I, I'm fortunate enough to be doing, to have this business where it lets me play in all these different areas. So great question. Thank you so much for asking. If you ever have a question for Birch House, comment below with Hey Birch House. Uh, ask your question, we'll answer it in a future video, and we'll see you all next Wednesday.